Even though I've already made two pretty long tips and tricks videos about the OnePlus Open, due to the nature of this device, just the fact that it is a little different from what we're used to in these markets, if you're not a OnePlus user in particular like myself, it is very different. I have still somehow missed about six pretty important things you're gonna wanna know about your OnePlus Open. So in this video, we're gonna go over six more tips and tricks. So the first one, if we go into the settings and then go to additional settings, we're looking for gestures and motions. And you might already know about this first one that's like a two-parter. So swipe down with three fingers to take a screenshot. This works pretty darn well, but there's an additional layer that was turned off by default. Touch and hold with three fingers to take a screenshot. So what you can do with this is basically take three fingers and tap your screen at the top of where you want your screenshot to be, and then drag down with those three fingers to basically select just that location. After that's done, you can move the box around, shrink it, expand it, and then save only that part of the screenshot. It's basically like Windows snipping tool built in, and I absolutely love this feature. If we go back out to additional settings and we go into screenshot, you may also want to change a couple of things here, like for instance, delete original image after editing. What this means is if you do the three finger swipe down and take a screenshot, you can go to this option here where you can mark it up, change the size, crop things as well. And when you're done, you click on the save button. And if you don't have that setting enabled, what you're gonna have is the original full screen as well as the cropped or edited version. For me, this is obviously annoying, so I'm going to turn that on 10 out of 10 times. So another one that I'm not necessarily using myself, but I thought I'd mention it because I think a lot of people maybe have missed that it is a thing. If you long press on your home screen and you go into icons, you can actually install custom icon packs. As you see, I installed one here. Let's click on it and click on apply. Yes, indeed, the OnePlus launcher does support custom icons. Now, you may ask yourself, Shane, why are you not using it? Well, the reason I'm not using it is because I can't find an icon pack that has every icon themed and it drives me crazy. That's not themed. That's not themed. Absolutely drives me nuts. Now, I think that there is a little bit of a bug going on because in theory, I should be able to long press, edit, click on that, and then pick an icon from the icon pack. And I could theoretically find one that's going to work well enough. And I'll show you what happens here. If I scroll all the way down, this icon pack I'm sure has a thousand icons. And yet I get to a certain point right here and it just stops letting me look. So if I don't find an icon that fits the bill in this first handful, I'm just not gonna find one. At least that's how it's functioning or not functioning on mine. So you can do it. Maybe you can find an icon pack that works really, really well for you. You can find them in the Play Store quite easily and that's how you set them. For me, I just don't think that it's working well enough. So I'm going to stick with that and that's just where we are. So this next one is something that is on other devices, but it's kind of buried on the OnePlus device. So if we drag down our notifications and we drag it down again, and you click up in this three dots, you will see active applications. And what this is going to show you are exactly that, programs that are running in the background right now. I can see that send files to TV is for some reason still running. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that one. This is simply just a good way to quickly see what's going on in the background of your device. Sticking in additional settings, let's go into air gestures because there are actually some very strange things here as well. Hold your hand 20 to 40 centimeters from the front camera and when a prompt appears at the screen, move your hand to complete the task. And you can answer or mute calls, scroll up or scroll down or play or pause videos. Let's try the scroll up or scroll down things. So we're gonna turn that on. And what we're gonna do is I should be able to hold my hand up in front of the screen. And as you can see, it popped up. Now I'm scrolling the wrong direction. So let's do the back of the hand and let's flick to scroll up. I don't know why you would necessarily want to do this. It seems like it's scrolling very, very slowly, but it's there. Maybe the ability to answer or dismiss a phone call would work better. Player pause videos. Maybe it's on a stand sitting in front of you or something like that. It's a very strange one, but it's there and it's worth mentioning. Here's another one that might make your life a little bit easier. If you're going to use the built-in share feature on this device, you get this pop-up. But if you're anything like I am, most of these you're just not going to use. I only use a handful of them. Typically it's CX File Explorer to send B-roll from the phone to my computer wirelessly. But let's say I want to have Google Messages in there. You can long press that and then pin it and it will now stay right there at the top. No more scrolling through trying to find the share target that you are looking for. 
If we go back into additional settings again, this time let's go into keyboard and input methods. And we'll see here this option, keyboard location. By default, it is set to raised. And I'll show you what this means. Let's go up here to this text box. And you will see that the keyboard has this sort of uh, blank space down below, which gives you the option to dismiss it with that little arrow. But again, there's a lot of empty space down there. You can change this to standard, and this will now drop the keyboard down a little bit. Maybe this is more comfortable to you. It's definitely going to give you more real estate above the keyboard to see what you're doing. This is the option I am now going with because one, that's true. I think it just gives you more space, but two, I think it just looks better without the empty space down below. I always thought that kind of looked odd and to me this just looks better. So there you go guys, a few more tips and tricks for your OnePlus Open. Let me know if any of these were new to you. Sound off in those comments down below. Subscribe before you leave and I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy.